So, ari na. Homeschooling setup na kita. Paano mag-setup sa inyong uh, homeschool? Okay. First things first. Invent in a good printer. <laughs> Kay ti, more more ang mga printables. I know sa Pilipinas because nga may modular. So, siyempre, di ba, much better nga, nga bakal ka dun ang ka-printer kaysa ang ka-print-print ka pa sa tapos tungod nga katuro ka i-print na printing house laban-laban, higo mo mag-uutod. Oh, and it will also save you money and time. Diba? Kung may print na karo sa balay nyo. So, afford yung man rin, ha? Hindi nga kinagig na super high-tech ang printer. Basta print. Basta makaprint lang. And not necessary yung man niya kinangalan colored gitang tanan. Diba? May di ama niya pwede pa madara sa black and white. Amo give me ang recommended mga brand dimes. Ang joke. Ang nakikita ko. Hindi pa HP man ang famous sa Philippines. Hindi ka yung favorite color. May endorsement. May endorsement pa ni Galia. Oo. Ang malagpala na yung HP o yung product. Okay. Okay, so create a daily routine or schedule that they can. It's really important to. Actually, sa amon, ang ginaano namon sa mga parents nga, three hours lang gid ang school work in a day. Three? Yes. Three hours. Ang gina-encourage <laughs> gina namon sa, no, sa mga natin. Three hours lang gid ang para sa bata nyo. And the rest of the day should be about practical life or fun activities. Okay, it's too much man nga uh, masyado. And especially, we also understand nga uh, parents are working from home at that time. You know? Ito, syempre, inangang naman, ito, sunny, di ba? Na-experience mo ito. Huwag kang, huwag kang ano, na-experience mo ito. Yeah. Di ba? Half, <laughs> ba nga half of your time hindi na ka on to uh, work mo. Most of the time, dines yes. so, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, iba. So, iba ka po lang na, na mag-ano ka gandaan ito yung uh, school routine sa bata mo because nga you work more hours. I think, uh, dines I would suggest i-mute mo kami kanan. Hello, sorry, ha. Gaano dyan? Gaano Thank you. Anong aking worry? Sorry. Nagatawag sa akun. Okay. Wait. Pasyente ni Doktora? Hindi. Ang akun ito nga pamilya sa Pilipinas. Ah. Wala pa sila katulog? Okay. Wala pa na sila katulog. Kaulat sa akin, marusari. Okay. O, ara na kit. Pang-mute na kamutanan. Bahala na kamu dyan. Okay. So, create a daily routine or schedule for your family or for your child. Sorry. So, ipakita ko kaninyo ang sample. Paano nyo rin? Okay. Kita nyo? Yes. Okay. So, this is included in the resources I'm going to share. So, for example, kung ka mo, Monday, kung kuhan nyo, 
o ano schedule ta subong nga semana or ano ano schedule ta subong nga adlaw ano ang gusto nyo himoon so my time okay ano sample lang ha so may alas 7 may 8 o'clock may 9 o'clock okay so let them ano i kon ano ang gusto mo what's the first thing you want to do in the morning oh, bongga <laughs> Do you want to do reading? Do you want to do TV? <laughs> Cartoon. <laughs> oh, cartoons. Okay. So, okay. So, I don't know. Maybe they would want to. May ara man yung shower, obviously. Pero yung ako digin into. But say for example, they want to prepare their food first, okay, and then maybe they want to do reading after, okay, or then after that they want to do a little bit of math. So depende ako na ano ang ano yung schedule. So the most important thing is. Pungkuan nyo, istoryahan nyo, it, ma, it matarong. Parang uh, kung, kung, ano, uh, kung uh, ginatama doon na, kung uh, i, ano ka na nga, hmm? ikaw ba lang nag-decide nga mo dyan ang himuon mo subong nga oras, hindi ako. Mm. <laughs> Reverse psychology ba rin tawag? <laughs> No, we will decide on your schedule for this week or for today. So I have little influence on this, but you choose what you want to do, and then make sure you will do it on a certain time and certain, uh, or you know, on on the time that you wish to do it. So mga mukaran. This is included in my resources and material. Nga ipakita sa inyo karon, okay? Tida o bongga man. So the the good thing ang pwede niyo pagid mahimo is ibutang niyo sa ano i ibutang niyo sa papel or sa kartulina or ano lang ginatawag nga. Tapos ibutang niyo sa wall para nga visible sa anda i. Tapos if you can do it like this sa ano like this. Example, nga may clothes pin. Nga kung matapos na ron, you can put it down. Para nga makita mo kung ano ron ang natapos nyo ng activity. Ano ang next one? Na. Ito bong gaman. Basta ang ang importante, istoryahan nyo it may kung ano nga schedule ang gusto na nga himuon sa sa adlaw nga ron. O ay piritay, although nga ginapirit mo nga mo dyan, gusto mo ha? <laughs> Basta you want to do this ha? <laughs> Medyo slide lang ha? <laughs> May pagka-slide lang ha? Nga labot na. <laughs> nga labot na. Na mo na siya. Okay. Tapos, ang next. Okay. So the next is a place for your child to be his or her workspace. So mga sucalan man kamo so I I guess my study area, my study table, my study chair. Like in the Philippines, di ba ang ang most ano is the dining table, the dining area. I would say no to that because. Kung himuon nyo ang dining area nyo, dining table, kabudla, i-ano nyo yung bala, he has to, to pack his stuff every time. Oh, it's time for lunch. Oh, it's time for dinner. Hmm. Himusun, Roman. It, it's, it's a difficult, although it, it is a task for a child, pero it's difficult to like put it back, put it back, Again and again every time. So find a place that is something that can be called his. 
na ano, may workspace ka mo. Tapos, di ba, kung may me time ka mo, ginano nyo, ganyan. Wala sa mag-istabo sa So, it's the same with your child. It's really a place or a place in the house nga he can really call his own and at the same time, he will be responsible in organizing that space, in cleaning that space. So, yeah, we'll find that place and also, you know, chair and table appropriate for his height, for his level, para comfortable man ng imong So, materials you will need. This is very self-explanatory as you every time mag back to school program may check in stro ka mo sa shopping nyo, di ba? So very very <laughs> uh, very very easy to follow, very very easy and common to ano to di ba? Do automatic ro do reflex ni ka mag-abot magkadto ka mo sa ano guys sa mga stationery store. Oh this is what you need this school year blah 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 check 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 notebook crayons pencils eraser okay so i'm gonna shut so i will show you oh. maria montessori oh, diva. that's <laughs> why it's really important to have a space the sa balay nyo, para lang sa bata nyo. Because, and always this way, para nga, hindi rosa na sa agad ka, ma, di mo ng lapis ko, ma, ma, may papel kita, ma, ma, ang band paper, ta, di in, ma, okay, sir, ko, ma, di in, don. But, if you have this very organized space, kaya nabutang ang tanan niya kinanglan, Hindi rosa na sa akin ka pa mangkot. Di ino to na. Hindi mo rogin butang. So, here, for example, gin butang ko ang mga colored paper, band paper. Kung may mga worksheets, you can put worksheets in a folder. My reading books. Okay. Ang crayons, make sure, one for each color lang ha, para hindi overwhelming. Kag para may ibulos ro ka mo kung madupol ro ang inyong lapi. So, color at a time lang ang ibutang nyo. Kag para ba suiting man sa eyes ka bata nyo. So, kung gagamit ko sa naka mga ball pen, very unlimited. One for each color, my glue color, everything. Okay? Parang dali, dali ro na ma, mapangita. Kag maskin ikaw, Kalmado ron ang pangpaminsaron mo. Nga hindi ko na, hindi pa. Ah, ikaw na lipat ka man. So, Marie Kondo meets Maria Montessori. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Kamita, ang tanan nga Tupperware. Kabudlay, kabudlay si na i-maintain times. Ito ka very tidy gini na. Mama na ako ako ha. Pakita ko sa imong sitwasyon sa akong nga, nga children's area. Sorry, go. Just go on. Two minutes lang ako. Alert lang tayo na. Oh, practical skills. Nantawa ang sitwasyon. Oh. Wow. Wow. Ang tidy. Hindi pwede ang one color for ano lang ha. Sila na daw na. Ako yun. Naduro abi ka mga ano. Miss na ka doon. Oh, a practical life na yan na i-organize na inyong materials mo lang dyan lang. Ibutang ta din. Ibang haboy ang gunit. It's, um, it's, it's, it's very, uh, difficult to keep everything organized. 
uh, unless you really have to tell them how to um, to tidy up after themselves. <laughs> Two minutes <laughs> pero at least may one area nga ang tanan nga kinabuhan when it comes sa school supplies ara jan ready available mm. alert jan lang tanan syempre gin ano adult ano ra tan adult set face na i know ang new uh, ano, much bet much and na much and uh, re- Real life versus expectation. Na, ano dyan ang expectation? Ang pala. Ano ang expectation? Ang real life kay Sunny Bell. Yes. Uh, <laughs> get to run a mega. Hmm. Di nun ako. So, continue. Material. Basta, i- ano lang yun nga, provide lang yun ka mukha conducive and ready environment. Okay? Um... Okay, so that one, provide varieties of materials but not too many or overwhelming. So, for example, uh, my, my art, my ano, I would suggest uh, for older kids, you know, at least five, six things to do, to choose from. And if you can place it, in an open shelf set up like this in the picture or the effort ako nga i ano ang ako nga nga presentation nga dong kaaya-aya man so ipakita ko kaninyo okay so amo ra nang ako nga ano ano ja ka ano ko ka mga mga indoor plants ko shelf jo ka indoor plants ko pa ginhimo ko talaga nga ano subong uh, model <laughs> uh, nga model so i suggest nga open shelf tana para kag tapos within reach ka bata nyo para nga you know they they can do it on their own they can take things on their own and they know where to put things when they're finished when they're done na mo na siya uh, this is an example of mobile alphabet. So, mga reading material. So, for example, kung reading tanan, there is a first shelf. Kung mathematics, there is a second shelf. Or kung ano man pindi sa organize nyo. Na. So, kung may open shelf ka mo or cabinet, i amuran model. <laughs> Amo na siya nga model. Basta, amo na siya. Na. Te, would like. <laughs> would like. <laughs> so, so, ang advice, Dines, is has to be open nga ma-reach nila right away. Hindi, hindi nga sa closed na cabinet. Yes. Usually, mga, mga, mga parents na bakal sa cabinet tapos place for everything but everything's locked away. No. Para neat and tidy at the end of the day. No. So that's not advisable. No, it's not advisable. Montessori classroom, everything is open. Okay. Shelves are open. Tapos, kung makita nyo, ang mga matatang gamitan nyo, ang tanang nga Pyrex, tanang nga Tupperware, ang mga unod, para isi-si for them. Ay! Okay, dyan gali ang ano, ang alpha, dyan gali ang umpik. Sa amo ka dya, dya ang ano, na. So, mga, mga eklabo, eklabo. Gin pang gamit ko ang mga mini box. <laughs> mga, mga jar, na. Ang amo ka ran. Okay, ano. Cleaners, na. Mga bobo, na. Ano na siya. 
ka ng uh, storage boxes. So, I'm gonna show you. Where is my... Ano na nangyayari sa aking video? Okay. So, yeah. Amo na siya, Amega. Kung, kung carry ang open siya. Oh. Ikea is the best policy. <laughs> Kakulalbaan magkanto sa Ikea sa buong times. Uy, kakadwar. Pila. Pang pila, kalaba. <laughs> Ano lang ko ba? Okay, so I've said this before. Ideally, three hours max. And the rest of the day should be doing activities that are more engaging. Oh, may mga pa-fishing-fishing si Michelle na mga mukara na mega, di ba? Oh, may pa-running-running sa sagwa. So, it... <laughs> active. O, oh, kung may pa-swimming ka mo dyan, go. Mm. Di ba? Sports. Hindi mm. na mawanday, parang pa-swimmingan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait lang, mawanday. Um, I've also provided some of these activities in my resources. So, ipakita ko rin na. Basta may mga, you know, may mga, o, oh, so, take a healthy break as well, okay? So, mean simple lang nga uh, fruit. Uh, good. So, try to avoid screen time. So, much screen time do you allow your kids to have? Pero, you know, not so much. And um, if you can, please provide reading books and encourage reading time for at least 10 minutes so maybe before they go to sleep or when you have a little bit of quiet time you know so reading is also another form of learning together and quality time together so yeah uh, at least put reading as part of your routine every day so the more you read to your kids, the more they will love reading on their own, the more they will love books. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Huh? Hey, Dines. So, hey, Dines. Yes. Hey, Dines, can I? Um, so, uh, you know, uh, just like challenges with uh, each of us, um, let, let, let's say, you know, with the, how, how's everybody with the distance learning? Um, you know, when, when COVID um, happened, you know, uh, what are the things that each one um, uh, did or tried to do, like, let's say, um, homeschooling wise, like what everybody has tried? Um, like, Sabat. Um, just I can, for, I can share. Um, yeah, yeah, please do, Sam. Um, so, okay, so my husband was more in charge of the distant learning so what the school did is they set up an account they it's the platform called Shobi. i think it's used by the teachers i don't know if it's used in france Dina, but it's Shobi account where in all the parents have to log on and then the okay. teachers at the start of the day they upload everything that they that the kids needs to do for the day and then okay. so we print it out uh, um, james will do it and then it has the capability wherein you know james gets to to talk to the teacher but not you know real time let's say he'll, he'll they'll send each other um a voice message say he will say like okay. miss doda look at what i did today miss doda i i painted a horse today and i really like it so the teacher encourages what did you do how did you feel about it and then when okay. the teacher hears it she will she will feedback you know um what what you think what you thought about it so it's yeah, it, yeah. it's just really that account and then um what I call this, just a guidance from teachers, because we we we, yeah. we would we would not have known what what to do then, yeah. you know, if it yeah. were just yeah. if we're on our own. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was it yeah, the same a, in the U.S., Michelle? Uh, yes, yeah. It's a lifesaver for me because I freaked out with that distance learning. You know, I, I told uh, Adina about it, 
because I'm just like, you know, I, I just, you know, in my mind, I'm just, okay, you know, we send kids to school. That's it, you know? So when they, when they said, okay, let's do distance learning, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I just, I don't know how to do that. But then with this distance learning, it actually opened up for me homeschooling. I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually really good, you know? Um, so the first week I was, you know, I was freaking out. And then the, the second week, you know, the teachers are helping out, you know, okay, just like you said, Sunny, like, okay, you know, um, you turn in the work and then we kind of like facilitate, you know, so it, it actually gave me some skills to, um, you know, aside from, you know, I'm doing my own reading research mm. and all that to, okay, what am I going to do, you know, uh, to, you know, okay, one more week, two more weeks and oh my gosh, we did it. It's two months. We, we finished it, you know, yeah, we did it. Yeah. we're still learning. So it was like a cause of celebration uh, towards the end, you know, and we gained some skills and I'm, I hope you moms, uh, you know, have gained some skills as well, uh, you know, during that distance learning time. And I, I'm glad that uh, Dinah has uh, mentioned about this Montessori. And you're right, you know, they, they've used this Montessori skills as well in, in you know, in the United States and, and all throughout, you know, a little bit of beer in that. And I think the organization is, is, is really good and to organize. And, you know, we try, of course, because, you know, we have little kids like, okay, we organize all these colors. Okay, you know, there's, you know, my two-year-old going to grab that collar and you want it to, to, for them to, um, you know, to pick it out, you know, uh, but then mm. it's, it's hard because you gotta, you, you have a seven year old and four year old. So, so it's good to, um, to have the model, but at the same time, like, how can we, you know, uh, try our best to, uh, you know, organize as, as, you know, it's, it's good to have the table, like, okay, this is study table. Yeah. I really like that dance because uh, we have a dining table and sometimes it's, you know, the the study table has all the Legos. You know, I know you, <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys have problems with Legos as well. Yeah. So it's good to, uh, you know, oh, we try, but I, I think it's good to have that. Okay, this is the model, and we could try uh, the best that we could to, uh, you know, to yeah. to be the the role yeah. model for for us. Yeah. You know, so and yeah. and just yeah. just just to add as well, like at the start of lockdown, I started 13th of March. So immediately I knew that things is going to change. You know, all of us is going to be in the house. I still need, I'm still expected to work. My husband expected to work. So we reconfigured the down, the all the ground floor of the house to be more just about the children. So what I've shown you was it wasn't there before during the lockdown, like everything, you know, all the, all, all of the stuff, they need to see it all the time so that there's no more mommy and daddy asking where they are. They have to see it. Yeah. So all of our stuff, I put it in the shed. I put it in the attic, everything in the ground floor are just for the kids. So my husband works here in the attic. I work in, 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 in our bedroom. So we just let the house be destroyed for the day. And then at the end of the day, you know, before they can have a TV, they just all have to help tidying up. So that's just how we, yeah. we manage here, really. So our house doesn't look like a house at the moment. It's like a, yeah. a, a flat <laughs> or a nursery or a Montessori. It's, it's, it's for them. It's, it's, it's for the kids. It's the only way yeah, we can survive, yeah. really, you know, to make yeah, them the priority yeah. of the house. Yeah, yeah. Grateful for uh, little blessings, you know, like uh, whatever we have, you know, just uh, yeah. you know, having each other, you know, having each other. So, yeah. Oh, and yeah. that's the thing. Like, you're, I mean, obviously you are in the Western world, so so the resources from the teachers and you know the mm. that that connection when it's it should be, yeah. The, you know, it's good. That's why I also I also you know thought about this webinar for for Pinoy moms in, in back in Pinas because I know that internet connection is going to be hard so mm -hmm. like that's ultimately the problem right now for most teachers i mean like they they have you know they know how to teach. but the thing is that the the facility and and with little resources that they can provide is going to be hard that's why my focus was really more of like helping mm -hmm. the mothers to how do you navigate this if the the distance learning or the internet access is not good because as we all know internet connection is not as good yeah. as, as what yeah. we have here yeah. or there and at the same yeah. time 
with all the the online sites and website not a lot of filipino yeah. teachers yeah, yeah. This. we're very yeah. techy but at the same time we're not that we you know i've never heard of shopee or whatever yeah <laughs> lasada seguro um, lasada oh yeah, yeah so, diner diner yeah um I, I i like that you mentioned about that we're not teachers and we are moms you know i really like that because uh, uh with the distance learning before i was kind of like okay you know what what do they do at this time okay they have recess now we have to have recess okay what do they do you know i'm like i have to okay I, i'm a good mom if i follow what what do they do at this time so i'm like i have to do from nine to three i have to okay god i made it i'm a good mother you know so so that was that was definitely a challenge so i i i really like that okay you know we're moms you know we're we're not teachers we're yeah. moms and moms is you know the teachers is just gonna you know just gonna develop in us and you know we're we're you know that's the most important thing you know our, our love for our kids you know i mean what's gonna happen okay you know it's, it's it's our love like we want our the best for our kids anyways you know mm. we are not teachers we are mothers and that's that's <laughs> way way better you know the pressure is you know is less you know true when did you when did you like which week did you realize like okay i'm really really good at this now like i've i've <laughs> my, my homeschooling skills like i'm going to be the best homeschooling mother <laughs> right now like, it was like for our for our, we constantly uh not constantly but we update with our parents from from school like how are you doing like, every week so it was only like on week four when i said like i think this is a lot better now like we have we've managed to do the we managed to put everyone in a very stable mode no one's screaming no one's crying no one's frustrated and all that in your case how, how far along with you when you realize okay this is good now this is okay. i think the last day of distance learning is the last day of school <laughs> um, yeah the thing to guys uh uh what what is yours what was that it's me. I said here in, in yeah. Windsor, Mrs. Windsor, is the school was done last Friday. Last last Friday? Oh wow! We finished last wow. Friday as well. Oh yeah. wow! This Friday, but yeah. this I have a, yeah, a, a, yeah. Grade, six, a grade six uh, oh, wow. fun. And when I came, when I when I used to go back from work, and he asked me about history, I said, "Son, I don't know about history. I was sleeping the whole time with this balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you want me to answer. Try to research. Go go there, please. I'm not a teacher." <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is the scary. This is the scary thing about homeschooling. Because There's children one. realizes, oh, sorry, Jerry is sleeping again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the joys of motherhood. Hello, <laughs> wait for your turn, madam. You're waiting. I'm pressure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Dines, I was just gonna uh, mention too that you know, uh, with the with, uh, my son is coming with the distance learning thing. Um, it's also good to know that the teachers were also, you know, a stress. You know, at the very beginning. Hi. Uh, uh, but at the very beginning, they were also they were also stressed out. You know, yes, they exactly. you know they miss their they miss their students, and they're also trying to figure things out. So it's good that they're also you know that they're also kind of just like us. You know, we're they're stressed out. We're stressed out. You know, the teachers we look up to them, but then you know, just like us as moms, you know um for us to try every day what we can um you know we lose our patience and that's okay you know we're still a mom mm -hmm. you know and for us to be able to make it and i think there's a cause for celebration you know that you know this is learning you know and for those you know the internet problems and all of that and 
you know. Thank God that my husband is into computers. If he's not into computers, I, I'm like, I'm just... For me, I it was such a, a big problem. Like, oh my gosh, my computer is not working. You know, it's like the end of the world. I, you know, like some people they have like, uh, you know, what is that called when uh, uh, their problems like you know with driving and then someone honking. Oh, what is that term? Like your, uh, um, like uh, I, I know, I I forgot, but uh. And it was for me, like, just, you know, if I have internet problem, it's like, oh, my gosh, it's, I'm just like, you know. So it's good to, you know, that we made it through at least, you know. And, um, yeah, so, anyways. But thank you, Dines. Thank so you, Dines. Time for thank you, Dines. Yeah, we went thank you. Dines. Is, yes, okay. Uh, no, I'm just saying thank yeah. you. Actually, so, thank you also, thank you also for sharing. I was trying to hire Zelda or, or Daryl to uh, to teach my son for the grammar or something like in English because he he just moved here two years ago, right? Uh -huh. I was trying to ask Zelda or Daryl if, if I can hire them to, to uh, teach him his grammar or everything like that because they told him, like, son, I'm very bad at it, even in high school. I'm being honest. At this time, I'm pulling your Nina's hair from her head, her dead hair. And <laughs> wow. So, it, it, but if it is math, it is fine if it is math. It's really bad. Oh my God. Seriously, history and like grammar, I'm very bad at it. Yeah, to be honest, right? Yeah, we are, we always have one one subject that we don't know, one subject. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why uh, me and Zelda has group. Uh, we have group chat with Emily. And, uh, if Zelda has a problem with math, she'll send it to me. If I if other language. Zelda, if it is like mother's thumb before when he was in, still in the Philippines. Uh -huh. I have to put it in the chat. Probably it would be Mimi, Jeremy, or I'm not sure because I don't even know. Uh -huh. Ang pinakadalang ba lang ang hiligay nun? Uh -huh. Ang pila ko, dahil nagasalapid. Uh -huh. Nagasalapok ang ako na brain. Ang bako, Diyos ko, ano naman? Kung isa, hindi ko sa insin, hindi ko budla yung sinbiyon. Hindi ko man mag-google, kasi hiligay yung sarayin. Uh -huh. So, at least uh, now, my only problem is French. I don't understand any French. He had a subject for French, but he's good at French. Pero now I know who to call now for French. <laughs> my French, his his French is probably better than my French. <laughs> Yes, my is level. Okay, so thank you for your, I know as well, for your feedbacks and your own experiences. Um, yeah, there, uh, I'm, I'm glad that Michelle, you love uh, homeschooling and that you will continue it this year. So kudos, hooray. But yeah, thank you also for emphasizing that as teachers, we were also stressed out because like we had no idea, we had no clue how is it going. You know, again, like, I have little understanding and almost no experience online. That's why I don't teach online because I love interacting with my students in the classroom. You know, I, I want to see them personally and want to. But yeah, everything, all of us has to, I guess, adjust to this new normal and gonna be for a long while at least for another year so so this is the reason why i'm also putting up so that you know at least i can help ease with how you do it. And yeah we can all 
to share them, what, what your experience is and what to share with you when it comes to a sort of little expertise in the matter. <laughs> so yes, thank you very much. Okay, so may I continue? I, uh, so yeah, um, also make sure you do something together aside from schoolwork. There is outside or inside your house because maybe some have also still are afraid to go out, you know, out in the public, out, you know, for go travel or what. I know a lot of uh, Filipino friends are into planting right now or <laughs> So involve your kid if you if you're into baking, cooking, and all that stuff. Involve them. Like you know, the more they see you do it and do it, the more they will love doing it. And we all have fun and at the same time learn together. And there's also learning there. If you have a young child just learning reading, they can read ingredients. Read the, they can read the the process on how to make stuff. There's already language involved in this sense, you know. When it comes, uh, I know when it comes to uh, planting or packing, uh, it also involves them to, you know, to take care of the environment, to take care of a plant, to to value where they're. Um, these are examples of practical life in Montessori. Again, I told you, very, very straightforward. Mga ginapang sugo ko na itong una ni nanay, kag ni tatay. But I've, I've also put this up in the resources I'm going to show you later on. Pero it's very easy. I mean, like, very, very practical. Oh, set and clear the table, match your socks, put away your groceries, make your bed, wipe dirty walls, trash, sweep with small broom, away the dishes. So, mm. Very, again, very practical things you can teach you. Show your kids how to do it and then the more you, you show them or, or involve them in doing this, it doesn't feel like it's a chore or it's a task for them to, you know, to do. So, I'm going to show. Okay. Um, also very important because children are also very social. So, find ways to connect your child with his other classmates and friends, even virtually. You know, if you can find like a playtime, a play date for your kid. Pinas those siguro hindi siya mabudlay, kahit duro mga ingod balay, duro mga mga pakaisa, di ba? It's very easy to 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 find playmates kung sa Pinas. But I guess if you're outside, it make sure you. Connection with their friends and classmates, even just virtually, you know, use their use your phone to video chat a friend, a cousin, or something like that. Okay, again, they're also very sociable beings. They also want to to feel connected with with their age group. Hindi lang ang makita da per mi mga malam, ang maistorya da per mi mga malam, di ba? So so it's really important to give them sort of of connection to other kids their age okay so when you a routine or you know that's fine it's so good out your the things that you want to do end your day assessing your child's day so it's also very important to ask him to ask her how is he feeling about his day what activities did he like? Did he like it? 
he feel happy? Did he feel tired? Did he feel unsatisfied? You know, it's, it's, it's also very important to talk to your child because again, this is a very unusual time. It's, it's something that all of us also are coping, but it's also very important for the child to understand that, you know, as a parent, you're there to listen, you're there to, to also make him feel that, that, you know, this is something that it may not be normal, but at least you give him or her a normalcy when it comes to, to, you know, communication to the activities that he does and and all that sort of thing 